most of us are pretty good at hiding our crazy. We smile for the gram, post pics of our perfect lives and pretend everything's peachy. But let's be real, under the surface we've all got that inner critic throwing shade like it's going out of style. You know the one. That voice that says you're not good enough, smart enough or skinny enough. The one that reminds you of every stupid thing you've ever done and every awkward encounter you've ever had. Yeah, that voice. The one that makes you want to crawl under a rock and eat your weight in pizza. The truth is, negative thoughts are as common as those socks you can never find a match for. They're part of the human experience. But just because they're common doesn't mean we have to let them run the show. Think of it like this. Your mind is a garden. Negative thoughts are like weeds. They pop up uninvited. And if you let them, they'll choke out all the beautiful flowers of positivity and growth. But here's the good news. You have the power to pull those weeds and cultivate a more positive mental landscape. So, how do you deal with this inner critic that's throwing a constant pity party in your head? The first step is to become aware of it. Notice when those negative thoughts pop up. Don't judge yourself for having them, just observe them. Once you're aware of your negative thoughts, you can start to challenge them. Ask yourself, is this thought really true? Is there another way to look at this situation? Often, when we examine our negative thoughts more closely, we realize they're based on fear, insecurity, or past experiences that no longer serve us. Instead of letting your inner critic dictate your reality, choose to reframe those negative thoughts into something more positive and constructive. For example, instead of thinking, I'm so awkward, I always say the wrong thing, try thinking, I'm still learning and growing, and I'm becoming more confident in social situations every day. Transforming your mindset from negative to positive isn't a one-time fix. It's an ongoing practice. Like going to the gym, you need to flex those positivity muscles regularly to see results. One of the simplest yet most effective ways to cultivate positivity is to practice gratitude. Take a few minutes each day to appreciate the good things in your life, no matter how small. Maybe it's the smell of your morning coffee, a funny text from a friend, or the fact that you woke up with a roof over your head. Another powerful tool is mindfulness. Instead of dwelling on the past or worrying about the future, focus on the present moment. Pay attention to your senses, your breath, and the world around you. Remember, you don't have to be happy all the time. It's okay to feel sad, angry, or frustrated sometimes. But by learning to manage your negative thoughts and cultivate a more positive mindset, you can navigate life's challenges with more resilience, grace, and maybe even a little bit of humor.